Shush, you big baby. A little pain never hurt anybody. Oh. How about dinner tonight? Uh-uh, I can't. Oh! The officers club dance Friday night? I love to cha-cha. Uh, Molly, you know I can't cha-cha. I'll teach you. Oh! Well, oh. I got a record player in my room. Just you and me and Jimmy Dorsey. Well, I thought you didn't allow dance in the nurse's quarters. So we won't dance. Oh. 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 There. How's that rhomboid now? Oh, I must say you're the greatest nurse since Strangler Lewis. Will you stop thinking of me as a nurse? Think of me as a woman, warm and breathing. Yeah, I'm thinking of Captain Binghamton. He's waiting for me. Oh. He's got a pretty hot breath, too. Sit down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I haven't discharged you yet. Mm. A sling? Do we have to? Yes, we do. Oh. You fighting men don't understand your physical limits. And no more volleyball playing for another week, you hear? <laughs> Tell me, let me guess, would you? Was it rolling dice? Uh, was it Indian wrestling with the native girls? I'm getting warm, aren't I, huh? Uh, no, sir, no, sir. Volleyball. Uh -huh. Nothing better for keeping that keen, competitive edge in the voice, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, I can see that. Oh. Commander, how would you and your men like two weeks with nothing to do but play gin rummy, go surfing, uh, have luau's with steel drum bands, dancing girls, hmm? Two whole weeks? <laughs> Oh, that would be a wonderful change, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Knock it off, Mikhail. That's what you do every week. <laughs> now, what I want from you is your word as a gentleman, if you'll pardon the expression, that you will confine your normal social activities to your own base. Well, if you say so, sir, but we'll miss you, Captain. <laughs> would you please not walk away while I'm talking to you? Oh. Mikhail, it's one of nature's little practical jokes that you and I are on the same side in this war. Let's not press our luck, shall we? Really? <laughs> How do you understand? Well, yes, sir. It's uh, another congressional junket, and instead of sending a congressman this time, they're going to send a congresswoman. Hmm. Never mind the hmm. And when that congresswoman is here, I want you to turn yourself into the invisible man. Oh. And cut that out. <laughs> now, the scuttlebutt has it that this congresswoman is looking for a hero to send stateside on a bond selling tour. You wouldn't be interested in going, would you, Mikhail? Yeah, well, uh, well, no, 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 no. I, I'd rather stay here with my men, sir, yes, sir. Oh, bless you, Mikhail, bless you. I love my country, and I shudder to think of its future if by some freak you were presented to youngsters as a hero, as a good example yet. Do you read me? Like a book. <laughs> ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Now get out of here and make yourself scarce until that congresswoman leaves, and that's an order. Aye, aye, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Captain. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> And when this Congress dame was in North Africa, she took a fancy to a bomber pilot. Next thing you knew, the crew was shipped clear out of the war, back to the States. Why, the poor slobs had to go on a selling tour of all the big cities. Hey, let me understand this, Lester. You mean the whole crew? A whole bunch. Shucks, a whole crew wasted. Two months out of action. Dragging around the States, making speeches to civilians. <laughs> Giving autographs. <laughs> Kissing girls. Drinking champagne. I buy bonds myself. <laughs> now, wait a minute, you guys. The congresswoman isn't even going to get a chance to meet the skipper. Remember, Binghamton ordered him to stay here on our island. Sure, but she didn't order us. That's right, Rue. Right. When we get through, the skipper will make Superman look like a sissy. <laughs> now, wait a minute, you guys. I don't know if the skipper would approve of this. But, Mr. Parker, the skipper deserves some recognition. He really is a hero. You're right. 
He's entirely too modest. That's correct, and that's why we have to go with the skipper to make the speeches. Hey, I we find do. out! Hey, maybe I can stop off in L.A. and see my girl. Uh-uh. If there's any place to sell bonds, it's Brooklyn, the gem of the ocean. Yeah, well, where do we get off the train at Chagrin Falls? I can see the banners now. Ensign Parker Day. Oh, oh <laughs> Guys, listen, none of us are going any place until we convince that Miss Clark that the skipper is her boy. Right. Where do you see the campaign we're going to throw at her? Yeah! Oh, sure. Mayor Walker, members of the town council, distinguished guests, mother. <laughs> it is with great pleasure that a sailor of my stature can say that, uh, I think we'll go down and check the boat. <laughs> Well, here we are, Congresswoman. This is the nerve center of my little command post. Well, really, I'm more interested in the nerve endings, Captain. The men who are fighting your war. Oh. Oh, yes. Well, you'll get to meet with them in due time. And I want to tell you, they are real examples of splendid Navy men. Uh, Seaman, take the Congresswoman's luggage to the quarters that we prepared. Hey, did you hear what Commander McHale did this time? He captured an entire Japanese patrol single-handed. That Commander McHale, quite a guy. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sure that you'll want to rest, uh, Congresswoman, so we'll take you to your quarters. It's been such a long flight. Oh, no, definitely not, Captain. I'd like to get to work immediately. I want to start meeting some of the men you feel are qualified for our bond tour. Oh, well, by all means. Uh, any one of the men under my command would be splendid examples to the people on the home front. Here they come. Well, McHale does it. Wow, what moxie. Yeah, got another nip landing barge yesterday. Boy, that McHale is some guy. You sailors there, don't you have anything better to do than stand around loitering? Get moving. Oh, yes, sir, Captain. <laughs> Who is this McHale? Is he one of the men I'm going to meet? Uh, no, no, ma'am. He's nobody. Believe me, he's nobody at all. Now, if you'll just step into my office. Uh... <laughs> Lieutenant Carpenter reporting us on it, sir. Oh, uh, good, good, good. Uh, Congresswoman Clark, may I present Lieutenant Elroy Carpenter. Carpenter, this is the Honorable Clara Carter Clark. This is indeed a pleasure, Madam Congresswoman. How do you do, Lieutenant? What state are you from? Illinois. Oh, what a shame. I'm from Massachusetts. Quentin McHale. Quentin McHale. There never was a man so brave that sailed a ship over sea and waved in a fight. He's never been known to fail. He's the tiger of the Pacific. Quentin McHale. Well, now they're even singing about McHale. Who are those men? I would say that they are prisoners on their way to the brig. <laughs> they seem in such good spirits. Oh, uh, oh, well, the men always sing those nonsense songs uh, when they're marching, ma'am. But they're not marching. They're just standing there. Oh, oh yes, they are, aren't they? Well, uh, <coughs> Lieutenant Carpenter will see to it that they start marching, won't you, Lieutenant? Yes, sir. Wait, wait a minute. I think they're going to sing again. Quentin McHale. Quentin McHale. <laughs> Was a man so brave to sail the ship over sea. Hot that singing, aren't you, cutthroats? Oh, hello, Captain. Don't you, Captain me. Okay, Mr. Binghamton. <laughs> what was that song you were singing, Ensign? Oh, it's an old sea chanty, ma'am. It's about the legend of our skipper, Quentin McHale. Uh, goes like this. Quentin McHale. Quentin McHale. Quentin McHale. Hey, where is everybody? It's awful quiet out there. Oh, they're all at the main base, uh, picking up supplies. Oh. They've been picking up more supplies lately. <laughs> it's been a pleasure having you aboard, Madam Congresswoman. Thank you. Well, uh, how do you think of our Lieutenant Carpenter? He's got a lot of polish, doesn't he? Well, frankly, Captain, a little bit too much polish. Uh, I was really looking for someone a bit more rugged. Quentin McHale! Quentin McHale! He's the tiger of the Pacific! Quentin McHale! Stop that blasted singing! My apologies, sir, ma'am. 
Captain, why haven't I met this man, McHale? Oh, well, I... He, uh, well, well, I don't know what you have against him, but I've made my mind up. I simply must meet him. Oh. Ahoy there on the 73. I want to speak to you. Yes, me! <laughs> Ship over sea and wave. His name will make a difference. Bravest in the Pacific, Quinton McCann. Uh, Skipper, Skipper. Yeah, yeah. Let me out, man. Uh, uh, Skipper, may I present Congresswoman Clara Carter Clark, our legendary leader. Lieutenant Commander Quentin McHale. It's indeed an honor, Commander. Well, how do you do, ma'am? And uh, Oh, I just received a message from uh, Captain Binghamton that uh, I'm to show you around the island and then uh, ferry you right back to the main base, ma'am. Oh. Well, Commander, I take my orders from the people of the United States. I'll stay as long as I deem it necessary. Well, uh, welcome aboard. <laughs> Thank you. This is certainly quite an unorthodox naval base. It seems more like a rest center. <laughs> well, it, it kind of is. You see, uh, our skipper leads us on such hair-raising missions that, well, we need all the rest we can get. <laughs> wait a little, wait a little. All of you guys. Now, uh, ma'am, uh, look, uh, we don't go out on any more missions than the rest of the PT boats around here, so uh, let's not uh, fill Congressman uh, Clark with any wrong ideas. You know, Commander, I've heard so much about you, I feel as if I already know you. How long do you think it'll be before your wound heals? Wound? <laughs> I got this in a volley of... That's right, in a volley of nip rifle fire. Yes, I told Miss Clark all about how those nips ambushed us at Tuvalagi. Tuvalagi? Rifle? Ma'am, I don't know what these boys have been filling you with, but I threw this shoulder off playing volleyball. Volleyball? Yes, ma'am. Uh, well, we told oh, you how, mo oh, sorry, Skip, how modest he was. Yeah, <laughs> what, what else did I tell you, ma'am? Well, Mr. Parker here was telling me how you wiped out an entire Japanese patrol at Bora Bora. Oh, he did. <laughs> did he? <laughs> yeah, no, Skip, well, you see, she's a member of Congress, and I felt that they ought to know that... I want to talk to you, mister. <laughs> if you'll excuse us for a moment, ma'am, the rest of my crew will show you around the base. Uh, surely, thank you. And I don't want to hear my name mentioned once. Yeah, but you, oh, gee, Skippy, you're, you're the tiger of the Pacific. Go on, get out. What a bunch. I've never heard the likes of it. All right, Mr. Blabberman. Come on, Mr. All right, now, what's this all about? Well, um, you see, Skip, we were so anxious to get back to the States, and, well, we thought if they picked you for the bond tour, well, they'd take us along with them. See? Oh, don't be mad, Skip. And for crying out loud, you know how I feel about this hero malarkey, putting on stiff collars and, and making speeches. Doggone it. You guys kind of got your heart set on a trip back to the States, haven't you? Well, kind of planning on it. Well, heaven knows you deserve it. So far be it from me to stand in your way. Hey! Sorry, Skip. Gee, that's great. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you glory hounds start laying it on too thick. If we get picked for this bond tour, I want it on the up and up. You oh, hear? You can count on me, Skip. I'll tell him. All right. And that's what we finally call our winner. Hey, you glory hounds? Uh, I mean, men. Uh, the Skipper said to belay that war talk. Sounds like we're boasting in front of Miss Clark. Oh. Well, it looks as if I'll have to get all my information from you personally. Yes, ma'am. What state are you from, Commander? Uh, Michigan, ma'am. Oh, that's too bad. It would have been just perfect if you could have been from Massachusetts. Oh. But I guess you can't have everything. I wonder if I might have a little chat with you. Oh, uh, certainly, ma'am. Right this way. Thank you. He's the tiger of the Pacific. <laughs> and the Can you see what's happening on McHale Beach, sir? I can't see a thing. What's keeping that woman over there so long? Quentin McHale, Quentin McHale, he's the tiger, tiger of, of the, the Pacific. Pacific. Quentin. <laughs> hey, Birch, first thing I'm going to do when we get back to the States is to kiss the ground. <laughs> That's a wasted pucker, Hap. Now, me, I'm heading right for Muscle Beach and the cutest female weightlifter you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> well, if you need me, I'll be over at Everett's Field watching the Dodgers. April in Flatbush. <laughs> First up for me is California. I visited my cousin Cecil in San Francisco. 
Hey, you guys, the skipper's back from mainside. What do you say we give him a reception? Hey! Why don't we give him a cheer or not? I'm going to be late. <laughs> hey, 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 you Look, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but you're not going. Hey, how about that? Isn't that great? We're not going. We're not, we're not going. Come on. Hey, I watched. Yeah, what are you talking about? What do you mean we're not going? Ace off, ace off. Hey, 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 off. Now, look, you swabbies had it all wrong. That congressman was only looking for one hero, and I'm elected. Just me. Well, he's just out of residence. Look, 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 look. Don't make it any rougher than it is, will you? The only reason I took this bond drive was because I figured that you guys could use a breather back in the States. But I'm not going without you. <laughs> the skip. All right. Well, if you're worried about the crew, Skip, Big Daddy will take care of him. <laughs> oh, well, I'm, I'm sure you could, uh, Pappy. <laughs> but I'm afraid you, you won't get the chance. The captain has Lieutenant Sidney Resnick in mind for replacement. Sydney suicide, Resnick? Yeah, the old kamikaze kid himself, boy. You mean the guy who had seven PT boats shot out from under him? Seven and a half, my friend, seven and a half. Oh, boy, Skip, we gotta get you off the hook. But the problem is, how? Yeah, this is gonna be tough. <laughs> I think that lady's sweet on you. Oh, sure, look at me, Willie. You call this pretty? Well, I know, Skip, but it's always the dainty ones that go for us brutes. Yeah. <laughs> You know, maybe he's got something. That's it. You could be a brute. Oh, nothing personal, of course. <laughs> well, I once read this true love story where this gambler was in love with a sweet young thing, but he didn't think it was good enough for her. So he tried to scare her off by pretending he was a wolf. Did it work? Yeah. It turned out he was good enough for her, and they got married, and they had twins, and they lived happily ever after. <laughs> That's not so good. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You know, I'll bet a surprise like that would upset Miss Clark's plans. You mean twins? No, 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 no. I mean that, that big bad wolf part of the story. Clara, I've been so hungry for so long. And you're such a fine figure for a woman. Does this mean we're engaged? <laughs> All right, knock it off, you bunch of ex-heroes. <laughs> I've got to get ready to destroy a legend. <laughs> Gee, the skipper's plan has got to work. Uh -huh. And just to make sure, we'd better give him a hand. What do you mean, Grobe? Mr. Parker, oil up your pitch pipe. I have an idea. Ma'am, everything I tell you about Mikhail is absolutely true. He's the worst example you could possibly pick. That will be quite enough, Captain. You know, a politician develops a sixth sense about mudslinging. I don't believe a word of it. And now, good night. Come in. Gee. Oh, good evening, Captain. Good evening, Miss Clark. Uh, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Uh, not at all, Commander. Come right in. The Captain was just leaving. Oh. Good night, night, Captain. Good night, night, Captain. You know, the Captain certainly isn't your greatest booster. He tried to talk me out of taking you back on the Bond tour. Oh? But have no fear. Once I make a decision, I stick with it. That's a little trick I learned in Congress. Oh, well, maybe you should have listened to him, ma'am. Uh, the captain really makes a lot of sense when you're in Oh, your... now, don't go modest on me again, Commander. Well, we're leaving first thing in the morning, so I'm making out our itinerary. Oh. Now, let's see. Our first stop in the States will be Springfield, Massachusetts. Yes, Springfield, huh? I hear the nights are very cold in Springfield. Yes, that's a good point. Take along an enlisted man's pea jacket. That always makes a good impression. Oh, well, I had a... I was thinking of a more old-fashioned way of keeping warm. Your long undies? Well, that's not exactly what I had in mind. Clara, we're not kids anymore. What's gotten into you, Commander? Call me Quentin. I don't know. Maybe it's the way your eyes glisten, like two liquid pools. I have a sinus condition. <laughs> You're fighting me, Clara. Clara, don't fight me. Uh, now, um, let's see. From Springfield, we go to Boston, where you'll address the Elks. Elks, smelts. As long as we're together. Oh, stop it, Commander. Oh, no, 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 don't fight me. Forget that you're a fragile wisp of loveliness and that I'm a rough, tough, hairy ape. Now, see here, McHale. I've been a widow for ten long years. That's what I mean. Let's celebrate. <laughs> 
Now, look, I don't know what's going on around here, but I'm still taking you back to the civilians. So stop bucking for a Section 8 and act your age. <laughs> now, from Boston, we pop over to Cambridge for the Girl Scout Jamboree. Quentin McHale. Quentin McHale. McHale isn't the hero you think. He's really just a no-good fake. <laughs> all this about, Mikhail. Ah, well, now, don't you believe one word they're singing, ma'am. No, no, sir. They're just jealous. That's what they're jealous. Uh, well, tell me, uh, do we go to Washington, D.C. on this trip, ma'am? Yes, we do. Oh, good, good. On the, uh, on the eighth day. Oh, boy, it should be a gas in Congress. <laughs> Yes. Ooh, I'll bring along my hula skirt. I'll really put a motion before Congress. <laughs> you wouldn't. Well, not when I'm stone sober. But, man, when I'm juiced, anything goes. <laughs> Mikhail, I don't know what's brought on the sudden change in you and your men, but whatever it is, it won't work. At 0700 tomorrow, you are leaving with me for the States, chicken livered or not, and that's final. Oh. 0700? 0700. Oh. Hell's much worse than Captain Line. He's a phony rat, a rotten guy. Hold it, you miserable songbirds. <laughs> Chicken liver sissy! Singing! Hey, have a good time. We sure are gonna miss you. All right, all right. Look, I'm only be gone for six weeks, so I'll see you when I get back. If we're still here. What do you mean, if you're still here? Well, you're forgetting suicide resonate. Boy, yeah, you give me all, right, all right, all right. Look, I'm just as miserable about it as you guys. So why don't we all just try to... Hey, Skip, here comes that congresswoman again. Who? Oh. Oh. Morning, ma'am. Good morning, Commander. Good morning, men. Hi, I'm there. Commander, there's been a slight change, and I, I hardly know how to say it. You mean I'm going to be away more than six weeks? Well, no. I, I mean, you're not going at all. Hey! Hey! Uh, I'm not going at all? Well, I really do hate to throw this at you at the last minute like this, but late last night, another PT boat came in, and I just found out that its skipper is from Massachusetts. Well, he has quite a record, too, and... After all, this is an election year, so I've decided to pick him. Oh, well, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, well, what boat did he come in on? Uh, that's it, right over there. <laughs> PT-109? I don't know him. Well, I am sorry. It's been a great pleasure to meet you, and I want to wish all you men the best of luck. Uh, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, ma'am. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye, ma oh, oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, boy, I don't envy that poor skipper on a PT-109 making all those speeches. Yeah, well, Ooh. I feel sorry for the people that have to listen to him. I can't understand him. What do you mean? Well, did you ever hear him talk? No. He says, we're engaged in a great world conflict. However, I'm hopeful that we can move ahead. Of course, nobody's perfect. Well, I can understand that. Well, never mind that. At least we've got our skipper back again. Hey, yeah! <laughs> Let's throw out the beer and ale. We've got our skipper back again. Quentin McHale. <laughs> Don't call him stinky. <laughs> Quentin McHale. Oh! Oh! Josh, you big baby. There, that ought to do it. And next time, tell the boys to take it easy. One of those gorillas that yanked me back up in that boat so fast, they threw it out again. <laughs> Quint. Huh? How about a cozy little picnic on your base? Now, you know my base is no place for a lady, Molly. Well, who'd know? We could eat by that pretty little swamp and the mosquitoes would keep the snoopers away. Well, if there's anything I hate, it's mosquitoes. You know that. Oh, come on. I hear you're the tiger of the Pacific. Now's your chance to prove it. Uh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. You, you got it all wrong, honey. I'm a... Why, I'm just a chicken-livered sissy. Stinky <laughs> McHale. Bye-bye, baby. I could just scream. 